art or vandalism. When it comes to graffiti, the law is clear about defacing property without consent, but it's a risk some writers choose to take. WJN's Jewel Hillary has more in tonight's cover story. A couple of the graffiti writers we talked to have evolved from teens illegally writing on the streets to professional artists now showcasing their work mainstream. But some artists continue to defy the law using anything from expressways, trains and new construction as canvases of expression. Chicago street art turns the mundane into bold, bright masterpieces in Auburn Gresham, as similar murals brighten Pilsen streets. The murals are the artists that want to take it further. And then there's graffiti, considered illegal. When painted without consent, artist Flash ABC shows off Project Logan, a space he says artists can legally show off their work. There's artists that won't come and do permission walls, but you'll see them doing trains. You'll see them up on the rooftop. Some tags hardly legible. They always sign their pieces. Clear or not. Most grab drivers' attention during expressway commutes. Graffiti artists that we talk to say creating highway graffiti, especially downtown, is something like an art gallery for artists as heavy traffic passes through the heart of the city. Almost every artist has a different reason directly for doing it. IDOT is responsible for removing graffiti off of expressways within its jurisdiction. Jose Rios, IDOT Region 1 engineer, says how quickly it's removed depends on the situation, but he says there is extra effort to get rid of graffiti that's offensive or blocking a traffic sign. On a larger scale, Rios says the state collaborates with the city for two nights before every major holiday to clean up expressway graffiti. Unfortunately, what we have seen is uh, sometimes Truly, the same night where we are removing graffiti from a location, you know, we go out sequential down the line of the expressway. When, the, when our staff comes back, there's already someone tagging it. Graffiti writers say their work is considered a multi-layered form of artistic expression. It's even. There's balance of flow through everything that you could take a tape measure and follow it and always get the same dimension. It's evolved from 1970s and 80s hip-hop culture. For this writer, we're calling Jay, who likes to live on the dark side. He might get chased, some people get caught. Creating graffiti gets the writer's adrenaline going. Sometimes more than others, you know, like sometimes you'll get go on like a spree and you'll just go out all night for like three, four nights straight or like go in the daytime and do stuff. When it comes to writers getting to those seemingly impossible, dangerous, hard to reach places. Teamwork, teamwork makes the dream work. Um, and some people are just machines by themselves too. We got some insight from this video where the tagger appears to use a powerful spray pump to get the letters so large and high. Graffiti is kind of juxtaposition of every art form. Westside born and raised artist Slang, whose work is rooted from graffiti. Here, I can show you actually. Has worked for big name media companies like Warner Brothers and Viacom. Using his God-given gift, he creates this piece in just 15 seconds. He says creating graffiti is like a two-edged sword for those vandalizing property. I know a lot of graffiti writers that actually own property now, you know, and so they can actually fall and own property, businesses, companies, got trucks out on the street rolling, and they still love graffiti and are upset if like some of the business trucks get hit. Chicago Streets and Sanitation Commissioner Cole Stollard encourages writers to find permissible ways to express their talent and says about 25 crews are dispatched to remove graffiti each day. It's pretty steady. Um, I've been involved with graffiti for some time and it's pretty steady. Any, you're going to get anywhere between the 90 to 110,000 jobs, um, 90 to 100,000 jobs pretty regularly uh, throughout the year. Despite the grief graffiti ignites in many, the love for this art many writers say was birthed from struggle in the streets most likely isn't going anywhere anytime soon.
The city of Chicago's graffiti removal budget this year is $4.4 million. And in 2021, IDOT's Region 1 spent more than $550,000 to remove graffiti. Now, for some perspective, an IDOT official says that's money that could have been used for other things, including buying three trucks that could be used for snow removal. To report graffiti, city residents are encouraged to call 311. You can also click on this story at WGNTV.com for info on how to submit requests virtually. The city's goal is to get graffiti down in two to three days. Back to you.